Very well. Then lend me your strength. Let's go, everyone! Well, at least we don't have to fight the same ones last time. I was sort of thinking that was gonna happen. This one looks dangerous! Be careful! Okay. Let's, uh, dodge. Learn how to dodge, Reen. I need more evade. I need so Here much more evade. Okay. I definitely want to use, um, light. I'm thinking Emma's probably going to be strong in that. She's probably gonna have that. I think that typically was her sort of attacking style. Like, the sort of art that she tended towards, especially on her, uh, Master Quartz. Um, I could probably uh, attack with um, Machias too, so maybe I should use... Yeah, I'm gonna use there. Reen sort of as a decoy and throw him over here. Now's our chance. Oh no, I forgot, I forgot I had burst. They're off guard. Now it's time to burst. Right. All right. All right. Huh. Sit. Sit. Take this. How about this? Oh, not bad, not of bad, course. not bad. Yeah, I mean, this is basically Arcade asking activate. for me to do it anyway, so... Leave this to me! We'll get on... No... I think your other Master Quartz had good stuff for this, but... No, I had to change it out. No... Okay, what about Alisa? Alisa might be better. I'll handle this! At least for art type, no... It's still okay. Oh well. Arcus, activate. Uh -huh. Ooh, okay. That's not um no. that's not our best. Oh, that's it a decent amount. Pimp. Could have been better, but This might just take a little this is this isn't difficult. This might take a little while, but I think that's about it. Here I go. Do I successfully delay? Now's our chance. I'm gonna go with probably not. No. <laughs> hmm, that hurts. My turn. That's um. That one hurt. Okay. Um. I'm not gonna inflict it with almost any of the different statuses, so I could continuously try to get more bravery points. That might be a good idea. I want to stay on this side because he seems to have AOE stuff, but it seems to be directional AOE stuff, so. Might be good to try to get everyone out in different directions a bit more. Right. You have my thanks. Thank you very much. It's my turn. Healing them up is a good idea. No, I'm not really. A crescent shell. No, no, it's not using magic. The three of plates. Yeah, that's the same thing as we had before. This is one, so I can throw that on Alisa. Blessing that would be good. Moon. Thanks. Okay. My turn. So I can keep this up for a while. Oh, that one's a bit different. No, that actually hits everyone. Never mind. Here I go. Hmm, my mistake. I thought it. I did not think it hit everyone. I like. I, I do right. like how they seem to have changed uh, Lord's animation. So it's less like she's attacking the sword. Now it's more like she has this big ass sword and she's like letting it fall on her own. Because that's sort of how you use those sorts of weapons. You use the weight of it to your advantage. I'm not an expert on it, uh, on it or anything, but I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to fight with those sorts of weapons. Ooh. I won't lose. Ooh, that hurt a lot more than I thought it would. Okay, maybe, maybe Machias Sorry, would be better after all. Mind? No problem. <laughs> Emma's my healer, so she's probably Here the best one. To, um put that on if I can actually get that. Maybe I can get that. I don't know. Oh well, I I probably need this. Here goes. Overdrive. I sort of want to yeah, I didn't want him to have that critical. That was the most important thing to me. Okay. It's some of these bravery points. An and I I got to attack turn. this true armor breaker. Shatter! Nice. 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 Got you. Okay. Here it comes. Maybe. How was it against? Um. It was pretty even. Okay. Maybe I should.
try slowing it. Yeah, that might be a decent idea. I get a few more attacks in every once in a while. It's not going to slow it down for this one, but... Oh, well. Hey, you learned how to dodge. Too slow. Good job, Rain. Good Let's job. Move. Come on, dodge. Yes, Rain, you dodged. Oh, this is perfect. It's my turn. As long as he keeps ignoring the rest of my party. So he can focus on Reen, and Reen has a decent amount of evasion, then this will be good. Thanks! Oh. Ooh, Emma, Emma, right. you'll be fine. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Maybe. You're probably, gonna be, you're probably going to be okay. Hang Actually, there, Emma and Maki seem like a pretty good combination, because Thank you very much. Maki's crafts have a tendency to try to restore my EP. Turn. And Emma's sort of an attacker healer sort of situation. Sort of. Oh, I actually delayed. My turn. <gasps> oh my goodness, it worked! So many efforts, so many times. It worked. It worked. No, it didn't work. Miss. Yes. Oh my goodness, these misses. I love these misses. So good. Leave this to me! Oh, wait, no, this ch- Oh my goodness, I can't believe I didn't notice this earlier. It's Accelerate, it's not- Oh, shit. I thought it had the same thing as Chrono Burst in the first game. Did they change it? Or did I just spend how many hours, how many percentages of this game being completely clueless about how this actually worked? It's Accelerate, it's like Fearless Leadership. <gasps> okay, a little close to the edge on some of my guys. Okay. I think I'll be fine, because I'm this isn't good. awfully damn close. Because that's going to do a decent amount. Hopefully. Yeah. How much does he have left? Too much. Oh, crap. No. 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 <gasps> no. This I'm sorry, crap. can't be happening. Everyone. My turn. I fucked up. I fucked up bad. Whoops a daisy. I, I thought I'd do more damage than that. My bad. My bad. My bad. My so bad. Ah, oh, I want them to be alive again. Oh, I mean, I guess one battle's not the end of the world. I can just take him out now. Marcus, activate. Because if I switch into Elisa, yeah. I mean, maybe if I switch into Elisa, I'd be able to get the Thalys on, um, on that critical too and not let him have the critical, which would have been okay. Then again, he would have attacked, and then one of them might have been taken out from because they had so little health at that point. Ah, well, I fucked up still. That's that. Let's keep moving. <sighs> Finally. Yeah, I can't sense anything else here now. You guys okay? Hmm. <sighs> Yeah. Why was that thing even there? It's... it's really you, isn't it? I mean, it's just some random occurrence that it just randomly shows up. Hmm. You're all here. Okay. It's like, Emma, it's like, cool, but we were never really that close. You just never opened up enough for us to be that close. <laughs> of course it's us. I don't know what to say. This is all so sudden. Laura Asaid, with her hair clipping through her boob. Still, I'm happy to see you're well, Reen. <laughs> I'm genuinely lost for words. I've never considered myself as the sort to cry at reunions like these, but <laughs> clearly I was mistaken. I'm really sorry for making you worry about me. Uh, I mean, you're not crying, are you? And I can't possibly thank you enough for fighting on so that we could see each other again like this. There's no need to apologize, Reen. I swore to fight as Class Sevens. No. As your sword. Wait, what? When the fuck did that happen? 
Okay, I've come to a conclusion. I came to this conclusion a while ago, but now that this is happening again, I can, I can uh, bring this up. Like someone in the comments, I uh, sorry, I forget, I forget names. Um, but we're talking about how they had a glitch where multiple people showed up as the person who like said, oh, like, Byrene at like at the, um, at the actual like end of the last game, even though one person only could do that. And I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they wrote most of this dialogue so that it would be interchangeable with that scene and as awkward as it is otherwise. I swore that my blade would not be broken until it returned to your side. That's so fucking out of that field. And I swear now to continue upholding every word I've said. You, when, when did he make this vow? When did he make this vow? Because I don't remember this vow. If, if she made that vow and I just don't remember it, please say something because I don't remember anything like that at all. With Adios as my witness. Thanks. I really am glad to see you're all right. And the same goes for you too, Emma. Eh, not as much. It depends how much you explain. I feel the same way. I'm gonna guess nothing at all, ever. I can hardly believe that this is actually happening. The day has finally come where we can all be together again. <laughs> it all feels like a wonderful dream. A wonderful dream, huh? Well, fortunately, this isn't a dream. These might be tough times for Erebonia, but we're persevering. That perseverance is what brought us together again. And the fact that we've found each other makes everything we've been through along the way worth it. Yes, I couldn't agree more. But I know that I wouldn't have been able to come this far if not for all of you. It was only because I knew I could have faith in all of you that I could do any of what I did. So, thank you. You've really grown strong, Emma. <laughs> Wait, Emma! Oh, are you gonna get petted like a little kitty cat in a circle, like behind the ear, right where you like it? Oh, thank you, Celine. Thank you for all the support you've given my classmates. And thank you for coming all the way here with them to see me. <sighs> Please, it was nothing. But I'm glad you're okay, I guess. At least I won't end up astray. Oh, don't worry, Reen would have taken you in. Uh, it's just how he is. Celine, there's nothing wrong with being honest about your feelings, you know. <laughs> you know, I'm actually sort of happy Celine's like this. It makes a nice little something different from all the mushy mushy like overly romantic stuff. Now we just need to find Eusis. Oh, are you smiling? No, no, that's sort of a neutral expression. Ow. Oh. Right. Well, we've done what we set out to do here. There's no sign of any more cryptids, either. Might I suggest we return to Legram for now? Count me in. You guys are fine with that too, right? That's fine by me. We can tell you more about what we've been doing since we parted ways. Then we're off to the pier! Oh, I'm- I'm on their boat this time? Okay. I feel like I'm playing favorites here. Fog's actually a little less dense than it was on the way here. Maybe because we defeated those cryptids? Most likely. I imagine they were accelerating the development of a problem that would have appeared regardless, though. So, while the situation should settle down for now, I imagine it'll happen again in due time. Indeed, the fundamental cause is likely elsewhere and much more complex. The Grom as a whole will have to stay wary for a while, I suppose. So, listening to what you had to say, it's troubling to think of how unpredictable this war is. There's no telling what direction it's going to take. Yeah, unfortunately. Fighting between the Noble Alliance and the Imperial Army showing no signs of letting up. I've still got no idea what's 
uh, going on over the uh, over at the academy. What happened to the nonsense in Viscount Arsade? It's been over a month since we last heard from either of them. I'm a little worried, to tell the truth. I'm still fully convinced we have nothing to worry about in that regard. My father is alive, and well, of that I am certain. I believe in him. If you believe in him, then I will too. I even take back that prediction I made at the beginning of the game that he's going to die. <laughs> I'm sure he's perfectly fine. I find myself more concerned about the whereabouts of Master Eustace. One would expect Duke Alperea's son to be easier to find than this. Yeah. Eustace was in La Grom at one point, wasn't he? Do either of you have any idea where he is now? He was with us when we fled the Academy, yeah. Several days ago, he boarded a train to Brayhard. He was growing increasingly concerned of what was happening in the region. Hmm. Yeah. So, but the problem... I guess if he's moving quickly, then maybe that was the thing that caused him to... Maybe that was the thing that caused him to, um, not be able to be detected. He doesn't necessarily have to be on the ship or anything. Well, at least we know where he went, so that's a relief. All the places he could have gone, he picked Brayhard. That's one of the Alliance's most well-protected strongholds now. I'm surprised it's even possible to get there by train. It was at the time, but not anymore. The Alliance has brought in heavy restrictions on railway travel since its departure. I've been at a loss what to do. It's just been a few days. Okay. Maybe it's the Ashen Knight stuff, like, oh fuck, how are they getting all over the country? Now oh, that explains it. Well, we can think about what to do when we get back to town. If it comes to it, we could always walk there using the highways. Oh my goodness, we we could walk between cities? Are you sure? Uh. She's contemplating. She's not sure. This is really, this is really, this is a really heavy burden on her heart. Emma? What's wrong? I feel like I should have told you so many things a long time ago. Yes, 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 yes! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Emma. Um, I can take screenshots with the Vita somehow, right? Give me a sec. Okay, PS button and start at the same time. I assume it's the same on PSVT, uh, PSTV. Yes! I took a fucking snapshot. I, that needs, that would be my wallpaper. Well, it won't actually be my wallpaper, but I sort of want to make it my wallpaper. About me and Celine, and about Divine Knights and Awakeners. Oh. It's all right, Emma. Does that mean you're ready to tell us now? Yes, I am. Well, if you're sure. I imagine you've heard some of this from Celine already, but still. Enrolling at Thor's was originally part of my duty as one of the Hexen clan. It's a clan of witches that traces its origins far back into the past. What kind of duty would have you enroll at a military academy? It's one that's been passed down through our clan for a long, long time. We must watch over the fragments of the great power sealed deep underground and observe whatever comes to pass regarding them. Just as it did for many others before her. That duty fell to Emma as well. When you say the Great Power, you mean Balamar, right? Did both of you know about the Divine Knights this whole time? We knew of their existence, yes. As well as the fact that they choose an Awakener. And that their chosen Awakener will be drawn into an unavoidable battle. <sighs> hmm. Just because you had the potential to become one, you were drawn into a great conflict against your will. And not just you, Reen. The rest of us have become secondary contractors. And yet I couldn't say or do anything for you. I couldn't even give you a simple word of warning. What right do I have to call myself your classmate after failing all of you like that? I think the classmate part, the bigger problem with that is the lack of a class anymore. Hmm. Don't be silly, Emma. What are you talking about? Emma, you're not going to say what I think you're going to say, are you? I'm sure this isn't what you want to hear after coming all this way to find me. Oh, it's going to be some... It's going to be emo Reen. She's going to be emo Reen for a while. But this... 
is where we should part ways. Emma. You said it yourself back in the old schoolhouse. You said Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer, right? Uh. I may not always show much in the way of class spirit, but I'm confident Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. We all come from different backgrounds, and we all had things we were maybe scared to or couldn't tell anyone. Crow has his past, you have yours, I have this strange power of mine that I've carried with me for as long as I can remember. That doesn't directly relate to the Divine Knights in any way, does it? Oh, I want... Are they gonna not say? I I'm betting it does. No, though there's always the possibility it may be one of the reasons why you were chosen. Okay, I'm actually surprised we didn't ask that early. I'm surprised I didn't think of asking that earlier. That seems like a very important little detail. I know plenty about witches and their history, but none of that gives me a clue as to what your powers could be. Oh, so maybe you just don't know? That's another possibility. Alright, Ben. The point is that even after learning I had this monstrous power within me, you all accepted me without a second thought. I feel that I'm a part of Class 7 as much as anyone else, and I'm proud to say I am too. Class 7 is only the best there is because it has every one of us in it. Me, Elisa, Elliot, Laura, Fee, Machias, Eusis, Gaius, Milium, Crow, and you, Emma. You're not an exception. Without you, our class wouldn't be what it is, just like it wouldn't be if any one of us weren't a part of it. Oh, Reen, I... He's absolutely right. I couldn't agree more. So I don't want to hear you say anything like that ever again. We want you right where you are, guiding me, guiding all of us. And not just as a witch, but as the kind class president and caring friend you always have been. <laughs> Goodness! <laughs> How can I possibly refuse when you put it like that? <laughs> All right, then. Sort of looks like a marriage proposal. I can't deny the ancient knowledge that I possess, or my position as a witch, but I always want to remain the same Emma Milstein of Class 7 that I have been since the day I joined Thor's. So please, let me stay at your side. What are you going to do otherwise? Of course. Like, were you really just gonna like run off and do- I mean, why are you even sticking around with Laura if you thought that was an issue? <laughs> that goes without saying. Uh, always, Emma. Who else could I compete with for the top spot in the exams? <laughs> no one, because there isn't going to be any exams anymore. What's a picturesque fairy tale ending? I couldn't be more pleased. And the timing couldn't have been more perfect. I can now see the ground coming into view. Would everyone mind gathering their things and. Hmm. What's that? Is that an airship? It's coming from the sky to the west. Is that. Oh, you don't think. Oh, no, it's not red. Crap. Okay. Huh. Why would you want to take the Grom? What could you possibly achieve by having this place? Are you just that desperate to lure Vi the Viscount out of hiding or something? An Alliance airship? Wait. That's a commanding officer ship, too. Indeed. And it seems we have ourselves some visitors. Allow me to prepare some tea. My apologies for the unexpected arrival. I should have sent word. Uh, you... Look, where are you in the opening? She she looks sort of familiar. I think she might have been in the... Oh. 
No. No, 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 no. Man, mm, she looks weirdly familiar. Hmm. I'm a relic wind of the Noble Alliance. I wish to make a brief visit to the territory of Viscount Arsaid. Huh. Okay. Oh, she didn't bring any soul dots with her, so... So... Oh, we, we went to the other pier. Oh, that's fine, too. Where do we sneak in? Man, she looks so familiar. I... He sort of looks like Gaius. Is he from Nord? Maybe both of them are from Nord? They sort of have that complexion. Maybe formerly of Nord? I don't know. Maybe there's another place with a very similar ethnicity. Nah, we didn't have to sneak in. It's a pleasure to see you again, your ladyship. And a pleasure to meet you as well, Brigadier General. Haha, <laughs> we are simply in the area, so... We thought we might drop by and pay you a visit. It's been quite some time since we last met. I was hoping to take the opportunity to apologize to my master for not staying in touch, but I see that won't be possible. Unfortunately so. Haha. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded setting eyes on the famous Radiant Blade Master himself, but I suppose I'll have to be content with meeting his daughter. I'm honored, General. I can't believe they're here. Have we met them before? I don't remember me. Hmm. Do you know them, Rain? They seem incredibly strong, whoever they are. The names are General Aurelia Leguin and Brigadier General Was Bodius. They're said to be the two strongest general. Uh, they're said to be the two strongest generals in the provincial armies. Yeah, I think there's uh, there are many people interested in martial arts who don't know about them. That's how famous they are. Oh, no, that's a lot. I'm not reading that out. Nope. Brigadier General Bodice is otherwise known as the Black Whirlwind. He's known for his unparalleled spearsmanship. Ooh, yeah, he's like Gaius, sort of. I mean, Gaius doesn't exactly use a spear, but still. From what I've heard, he has Nord blood running through him, too. Okay. Oh, I see. It does remind me of Gaius in a way. So is the spear thing just like a stereotype? No, they probably just use it for hunting and stuff. Not much other use for spears, I suppose. I wonder if that's how he came to be so tall. Oh, d don't, don't gawk, Elisa. A number of warriors from Nord were said to have fought with Emperor Dracos during the War of the Lions. Perhaps he's a descendant of theirs. Yeah, that makes sense. As for the woman with him. I like how they're just like waiting around for their conversation. Just like, hey, Laura, when's that guy gonna stop talking about us so we can continue with our conversation again? She's known as the Golden Raksh Rakshasa. I haven't heard that one before. She's also a countess and head of the Leguin family, as well as a commander of the Lamar Provincial Army. As hard as to believe, I've heard she's a practitioner of both the Osaid and Vander schools of swordmanship. Wasn't the Vander School practiced by the Guardians of the Imperial Family? Uh, Lieutenant General Vander is a practitioner of the Vander School too, obviously. So, uh, she sounds like a monster. Both of them are key public figures in the Alliance. What could they possibly want in a neutral region such as this, I wonder? Still, I won't do with you, uh, it won't do to have you standing around here. Allow me to show you to my father's office. Lars, would you prepare some tea? Oh, there's no need to concern yourself with that. Seeing that the Viscount isn't here, gave us all the information that we needed. Um... What might you be suggesting? Be at ease. We didn't come to criticize anyone for the Crimson Wing's appearance near Trista. 
still it's always good to know who you're fighting against. The way I see it, you're continuing to remain neutral now. But if it came to it, you wouldn't be afraid to take up arms for your personal sense of justice. <laughs> oh, there's no need to be so hasty. We have more than enough opponents to be going on with. But now let's focus on drawing out Craig the Red and One-Eyed Zex. You can allow Rufus to be the only one making any major achievements. Ha, <laughs> true enough. It would please me so if you were to fight under me one day too. I believe you have the potential to surpass even me given this uh, sufficient practice. I'm honored that you would say so. However, my swordsmanship is inexperienced at best. I wouldn't dare presume to have the potential to surpass anyone at this stage. I would ask that you wait until I can at least pass my father in a duel before making that invitation. And I shall. I look forward to the day. That I believe it's time we took our leave. Perhaps so. I was hoping you could introduce us to your friends, but they seem to be feeling rather shy. Yeah, you think? <laughs> Seizing them, are you? I'm sure we'll have the opportunity one day. I sense great potential within them. As do I. I apologize for being unable to do anything more to make your visit more comfortable. Laws, please escort them. As you wish, my lady. <laughs> Come to think of it, perhaps you wouldn't mind joining me in a battle before I depart. I haven't had the joy in quite some time. Hardly think an old man such as myself would prove to be a worthy opponent to one of your strength, General. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. You haven't let your guard down for a second since I stepped into the Grom. Okay. Oh. Laura. Well, that was tense. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Took all that I had not to be overwhelmed by the sheer presence. I'm not surprised. We could feel it well enough ourselves that we weren't even in the room. I didn't stop them from noticing us, though. My fur was on end the whole time. They really did seem to be way beyond us in terms of skill. It's unbelievable to think that people like that even exist. It just goes to show how many skilled people the Alliance has among their ranks. With warriors such as them on the field, to say nothing of a Lord Rufus Alberea, we can't afford to underestimate them. Oh, very true. Still, that's no reason to give up now. We need to keep pressing on. And on that note, I think it's about time we left ourselves. Let's go and bring back Eusus. And once we've done that, we can decide what we're going to do and who we're going to be fighting against. <laughs> Indeed. Then let's start heading to Berehard. Oh. Cool, are we really just going to go to Berehard? I sort of figured something else would happen here, but okay. Well, as I leave the Grom in your care, should Father return during my absence, please give him my warmest regards. But of course, Lady Laura, worry not, the ground will be safe in, in safe hands with me. But if you wouldn't mind, everyone, please do look out for Lady Laura for me. You always do. Thanks for keeping an eye on Emma for so long. Please be well, Claus. <laughs> Your words are very much appreciated, but unnecessary. I'll be perfectly fine, I assure you. Oh, there's a death flag. Path of Heavy will be fraught with many challenges and dangers, but I would be praying that you all will be able to navigate it safely to its end. From there, forward your own paths. To keep yourself safe. Thank you, Claus. We'll be back as soon as we are able. Okay, now, next we're gonna have to fight our way through the town, as the citizens refuse to let Laura leave with us, having men. It looks like the generals have left already. Yeah, it's our cue to get going too. But it does look like we'll have to use the highway to get to Beret Hard though. That shouldn't be a problem. Following the upper highway north will lead us straight to it. Perhaps we should pay a visit to the Bracer Guild before we head out. 
The reception is there, might be appreci uh, might appreciate a goodbye before we move on to Bray Hard. Yeah, you're probably right. Laura and Emma join the party. Overdrive, overdrive. Now Celine can use <laughs> now Celine can use overdrive. Reaching Bray Hard will cause the main story to advance. No, okay. So that means side quest time. I can't agree that um, the side quest seems sort of really tacked on. While in the first game they weren't, which was sort of nice for a game to actually not feel so tacked on. So even that general like Gwyn has their eyes on Lady Laura now. This could be real trouble. We have to be vigilant from now on. I won't let anyone try to take our lady away from us. Hey, we're gonna just like walk away from this town now. The girls of the Grom are unmatched in the art of misunderstanding, I swear. There's nothing that can be done when she's like this. All we can do is wait for the storm to pass. Man. Oh my. So if my vague memory of their costumes uh, stand up, they're okay. Oh, hers in particular was like, was like really, um, do I have any more contact? And let's see, just, um, I could, I could. I shouldn't have brought Machias. No, he can't, he's not allowed to wear glasses. It's just wrong. It's just weird. Take care, Pello. We'll be back before you know it. Hmm. Be sure to take care of your owners while we're away. <sighs> God damn it. Oh boy. Okay, I think that's probably where I want to end it for today. Side quests are coming up, as it seems so. So, we'll be doing that next time, and I'm sure you're all looking forward to that part. So. Drive safely, everyone.